What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a quick mission guide for the Tier 2 Crown Faction mission here in Season 4, known as Low Light Combat Training. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure to show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. We went through an easy goal of 150 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Also, that notification bell so you don't miss you in future videos. All right, so this mission is going to be two parts, and it is taking us over to Koshai Complex. So you guys will first have to infill into El Mazra and head over to one of the four bunker entrances if you guys are unfamiliar with where these entrances are i do have a video over on the channel you guys can check out in order to actually find the locations of these bunker entrances but you guys are going to go over to one of the entrances enter the koshai complex and you guys will be ready for this mission now, part one is asking us to kill five enemies without using night vision goggles in the chemical plant now this is going to be a little bit tough just because it is so hard to see in that area but essentially once you guys go into the koshai complex depending on which one you actually spawn into obviously you guys will get different spawn locations you guys will make your way to the center which is the chemical plant or the dark area now obviously at this point you guys will still want to have your night vision goggles because it's going to actually help you navigate to where the enemies are actually going to be because you're not going to be able to see anything so once you guys actually get to the chemical plant you're going to pop your night vision goggles on i definitely recommend going towards the areas where the buildings are in the center you guys are struggling to find some enemies however it is much better to actually get some enemies in one of the routes near Near one of the bunker entrances to the actual chemical plant because once you take the night vision goggles off you're not gonna be able to see very well and you're gonna want to have some sort of escape route by being close to one of those doors so that way you guys can go somewhere where it is light in case you guys get yourself in sort of a pinch the enemies in this area can be pretty aggressive and they do a lot of damage especially because they can sneak up on you so it is important to have a little escape route but putting yourself in a good position can be important for this so you guys don't go down especially if you are playing solo but once you guys get over to the dark area you're gonna pop the night vision goggles on you're gonna find yourself some enemies and the reason that you're gonna pop the night vision goggles on is so you can actually locate them. But once you guys locate a few of them, I definitely recommend kind of getting your crosshair where it needs to be, then popping off that night vision, and then actually going for the eliminations. That way you guys will have a better chance of actually hitting your shots because obviously it is dark and there will be a little bit of a laser that you can see kind of indicating where the enemy is, but it is kind of a challenge to see obviously because it is so dark. So once you guys are lined up, you guys are gonna be able to hit your shots pretty effectively and you guys will be able to eliminate the enemies. And once you guys are able to eliminate five enemies, which shouldn't be too hard in this area, Area because it is an aggressive area you guys will be able to wrap up part one a part two is asking us to kill five enemies with fire in the chemical plant now my biggest recommendation for this would be to just bring the broadside shotgun with the dragon's breath rounds as you guys would be able to just shotgun the enemies in this area and take them out pretty effectively but there is also an alternative route which would be to bring a molotov and you guys could even come in unprepared with a molotov and actually be able to still get access to one because you guys eliminate enemies some of these enemies will drop them that's actually what happened to me I was able to get access to a multi from just taking down an enemy and then I was able to equip it and then throw down a munitions box to get access to some more. But well, obviously once you guys get access to the Molotovs, you're going to go back to the center chemical plant area again. This time you can actually rock your night vision goggles as we'll find yourself some enemies and you're going to want to make sure you do your best to stick them because if they move out of the fire in any way, shape or form, they'll just stop taking damage and they won't actually die to the fire. But once you guys are able to eliminate five enemies with the Molotovs or you guys bring in that fire shotgun and take them out that way, you guys will then be able to wrap up part two and complete this mission. That's going to wrap things up for today's quick mission guide. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.